Hey Aries, welcome to your weekly reading for June 7th to the 13th. My name is Johanna. Welcome to Tenacious Soul. We are going to go through some general messages for you guys for <clears throat> the week. So take what resonates, leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. Um, I did post the June monthlies for each sign. Um, so definitely check those out. I'll put a link uh, for you guys throughout this video here. So um, <clears throat> yeah, you can check those out. I also did a pick a card for the next three months, so you can check that out as well, okay? So, what else have we got going on? So we have celebrate your wins in reverse. Can I get one more card here for Aries? One more card, or three. <laughs> okay, so we have you are light. We have Find Your Sacred Flow in Reverse, and we have You Are Epic. You Are Epic. Okay. We have Overthinking Can Spoil the Magic. So I feel like there's a situation um, where it's almost like, I don't know if you're trying to control this situation. You feel like you're not being successful in something, but I feel like you actually are. Um, I feel like you're just more overthinking what's happening um there's a need for you to be more kind of like less controlling like be more in that feminine energy of just like flow and letting things happen um i feel for some of you this is like with regards to like your goals and your achievements um i believe your june reading was about more of like your just overall success like um i think it was called determined to reach your goals or something like that. So for some of you, this is like with regards to like work or a project or something um, that I feel, I don't know, you might still be kind of like struggling to kind of get things going or you're in the beginning phases and you're maybe overthinking things, but you need to kind of like remember your power here, remember your strength. So we have the Prince of Pentacles, we have the Queen of Cups, we have the Nine of Swords. Yeah, there's that like overthinking energy. We have the Two of Pentacles. We have the King of Cups. And we have the Two of Swords. We have the Three of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the Princess of Torches. So um, the Princess of Torches, again, it's like, I mean, it's fire energy, right? So... Um, that's definitely, I feel like, your guys' energy here with the Princess of Torches at the bottom of the deck. Some of you may have a choice between two people because there's a King and a uh, King of Cups and a King of Pentacles. Um, some of you, it's love and it's also career is also what I'm getting. So there is a lot of like love and emotion here. There is an element of like a choice and, and uh, making a decision, but also a little bit of like overthinking things. We have the Prince of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups and the Nine of Swords. There could have been some sort of like communication or some sort of like um, communication or even just like a new opportunity possibly that has like come in towards you that I feel like you are really attracted to in the sense that it's, um, you have a lot of love for this. But you're also kind of like feeling overwhelmed and depleted by this as well. And I think it's maybe because you don't know what to do with it. Uh, we have the Two of Pentacles, the King of Cups, and the Two of Swords in your current energy, which again indicates a decision here with these two, um, the Two of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. There's something you need to choose around. Um, I feel like right now you're entertaining both options, but it's like you at one point you're gonna have to let something go. It's just that you haven't done that yet. I feel like you maybe don't have that clarity. You're trying to like um, emotionally get yourself under control as well when it comes to this person, this situation, whatever that is. I feel like if it's a person, you and this person, there's a lot of love there. They may hold that back though. They might not necessarily express that to you. Now, in the near future, we have the Three of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles. So there is like a new opportunity to work together with someone or something. Um, again, this is where I'm kind of feeling like this is more career and then there's like love. So career and money could be um, something that's more of a focus kind of in the near future here. What is this Nine of Swords about for Aries here in the recent past? Oh boy. 
We have the High Priestess, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Star with the Hanged One. Yeah, there's something that, like, you're trying to decide whether you want to invest into something with the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like it's something, again, that this is opportunity this person looks very attractive to you it's something that you feel very intuitively drawn to <clears throat> i feel like intuitively you know the answer as well but you're overthinking it like you're questioning yourself more so and so and some of you like again this could be with regards to relationship we have the hanged one and the lovers so let's see who is this or what is this king of cups here in the current energy for Aries. Who is this or what is this King of Cups here in the current energy for Aries? King of Cups, please, Spirit. Can you clarify this for us? Nine of Pentacles. So we have the Chariot Strength. Seven of Torches, Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so for some of you, this is all one person. It's not two. However, some of you, this person feels like you could be moving on from them. There is an element of like p moving forward, making some sort of a decision. We have the chariot, the strength, and the seven of wands here. Um, I feel like for some, a lot of you, you're single. Like you, um, and I feel like the person, this king of cups person, I feel like they are also single. We have temperance. I feel like this king of cups is probably somebody you've been dealing with. Um, this king of pentacles might be somebody new. Um, with the temperance energy, it's like, you're trying to balance things out here. Again, there's like a decision, right? It's like there's two options here, two things. Some of you, it's balancing your home life and your work life. But we have the chariot, the strength, and the seven of wands. This is like going towards what it is that you want, fighting for what you want, being determined to achieve your goals. Um, some of you, this is like, again, this person may view you as moving on. With the Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, it's like they see you possibly entering a relationship or um, this is what you're wanting. And so they see you um, moving towards that. And some of you, this is what this decision is about, is like, do I see a future with this person? What's the Two of Pentacles here for Aries? What's this Two of Pentacles here? We have the morning and the lovers. Yeah, like this is like making a decision of which direction, what relationship are you going to start? Who are you going to start things with? Some of you, like I said, are moving towards something new and this person is picking up on that. They're maybe trying to prevent you from doing that. Yeah, king of torches and justice. You guys are wanting to move towards commitment here. Some sort of contract, wheel of fortune. A lot of you are, are going to start to move forward. And a lot of you are, are kind of like walking away from the past, I feel. And this person, I feel like, doesn't want that. But I also kind of wonder if they maybe didn't open up to you or... Can I get a card on this Two of Swords? We have the Queen... Queen of Torches, we have the Eight of Torches, the Nine of Torches. Yeah, I feel like you, this person doesn't like that. Um, I feel like you're communicating that you're going to be moving on. There will be a decision that you're going to make. I just don't know if you're making it in this week or not. I don't really feel like you're in a commitment with this person. I feel like you're just kind of like dealing with them somehow. So who is this King of Pentacles here? Because this is in your near future. The Devil. Could be a Capricorn with all this Earth energy here. And the Prince of Torches. Yeah, I feel like this is a new person. Six of Swords. They're, they may live at a distance from you. What's this Five of Swords about? Yeah, some of you, like, 
I don't know if this person plays mind games. What's going on here with this? Five of Swords, Seven of Cups. I feel like this could come in pretty quick for some of you as well. But I also feel like this person could be really focused on their money, which makes you maybe question this. We have the lovers. Is this love related? I feel like it is. We have the four of torches. Now, if this is the same person, again, it's like leaving this behind, starting something new. What's this ace of pentacles here? What's this ace of pentacles? Yeah, ten of swords, leaving something behind and starting something new and stable. Some of you, this is just like focusing on your career. Because I'm not even really picking up that it's like a person. I feel like you're leaving behind somebody who, um, yeah, you're cutting somebody off. Ten of swords, queen of swords. What is this three of pentacles? We have the knight princess of pentacles yeah some of you are just moving more towards your career i see you more like self-focused and i i see you like i think you maybe see how this person is like a little bit immature this person you've been dealing with some of you have been in a commitment with this person but i see you like wanting something more you're not getting what you want out of this relationship or it's not serving you fully four pentacles i see you guys like working on your finances there's a lot of pentacle energy here you guys might have earth in your chart there may be a new person that does come in here possibly somebody at work but i see just a lot of you just working and focusing on your work i don't really see you like you're moving on from this person and maybe that's why you're so focused on work is because you're trying to move forward um Let's see what your advice is. What is the advice here for Aries this week? So I see you guys like needing to make a decision on a person of whether you're going to be moving on, whether you're going to be, I feel like part of it is like realizing how, um, I think you're overthinking this situation, but I also think you need to realize like what you have to offer and are you offering more to this situation than this other person? What other advice do we have here for Aries this week? Advice for Aries spirit. Can I get two more cards, please? Thank you. So we have six of pentacles, six of swords, ace of swords. Yeah, you guys are going to get clear on moving forward. I think you're also, there is going to be like a little bit of, you know, being upset around this situation with the five of cups. But I also feel like you're you're trying to move to something a little bit more balanced. With the Six of Pentacles, you could be also realizing like you're giving a lot to this situation or over giving to the situation. And it's like you just need to kind of like cut your losses. You are going to get clarity as to which direction to move forward to as well. Especially if you have like some of you may have two options or you're just considering moving forward. And that's the other thing. Others of you, again, it's like balancing your home life and your work life. Some of you are really focused on your career. So I feel like though a lot of you are debating on walking away from somebody. But again, that clarity is going to come. And again, like I feel a little bit of like there's over overthinking and we have intuition behind that. So like I feel like there's intuitively you're going to get some clarity as to which direction you should move in this situation. So and maybe taking some time to try and connect a little bit more might be helpful for you guys this week. So that's what I have for you, Aries. Hopefully that's helpful for you guys. Uh, you can check out your other signs for the week um, if this did not resonate. And I will see you all in the next video. Okay, bye.